Hello everyone, today we are going to discuss a problem, a problem based on response of RC high pass filter circuit when the pulse input is applied, ok. Here is the input signal which is a pulse input which is denoted by VI of T whose pulse duration is 10 microseconds over the interval 0 to 10 microseconds. My input value is 10 volts and this point of time is denoted by Tp and when this input signal is applied to this RC high pass filter circuit then you are asked to find out what is the output voltage ok. At 0 minus my input is 0 at 0 plus at 0 plus my input is plus 10 volts at Tp minus Tp minus my input is plus 10 volts at a Tp plus my input is 0 ok. So, with this input structure let us try to find out what is the output voltage is right ok. So, now we are asked to find out the output voltage when this kind of input is applied for the case RC is equal to Tp ok. The first case is for which we need to find the output is RC is equal to Tp ok. So, I can find my output something like this. When my T is equal to 0 minus my input is 0, my output is 0. When my T is equal to 0 plus my input is 10 volts my output is also 10 volts. Why? Because I am looking my output across the capacitor. When I suddenly change my input from 0 to 10 volts at 0 plus, my voltage across the capacitor cannot change instantaneously. So, my output voltage across the resistor, the entire input voltage across it. Okay? So, that is why my output voltage at 0 plus is same as the input that is 10 volts. Okay? So, I need not worry about 0 minus and 0 plus. So, now I am interested in 0 to Tp ok. So, over the interval 0 to Tp that is 0 plus and Tp minus. In between 0 plus and Tp minus my input is plus 10 volts. When my input is plus 10 volts it is like your step input. When the input is a step input you know what is your output corresponding to an RC high pass filter circuit ok. How does your output is going to look like? Your output is going to look like ok. It takes the standard discharging form V into E power minus T by tau where V is 10 here into E power minus T by tau ok. So, this is the output equation what we already aware of ok. Suppose at a T is equal to Tp suppose I substituted my T is equal to Tp. At T is equal to Tp, I mean by Tp minus. At Tp minus, my input is 10 volts. Okay. My output at Tp minus is given by just substitute your T is equal to Tp. Okay. Just substitute your T is equal to Tp. Right. And this is being denoted by V1. Okay. My output at T is equal to Tp over this interval is denoted by V1. Ok. So, what is my V1 is now being given by? V1 is now being given by 10 into e power minus Tp by tau. And can I find my output corresponding to the given task? The task is Rc is equal to Tp. Rc is nothing but tau. Tau is equal to Tp. Tp, Tp gets cancelled. So, what is my V1? I can get it as 10 into e power minus 1, which is nothing but 3. Point 67 volts ok 3.67 volts. What is this V1 is? V1 is nothing but the output voltage at T is equal to Tp. In this interval Tp meaning T 
tp minus okay so when i take this particular form okay i can show you the output as something like this okay so my output output is going to take this particular form such that at t is equal to tp it is nothing but your v1 okay at t is equal to tp it is nothing but your v1 okay and what is your v1 is given by my v1 is given by 3.67 volts assume that this is 10 volts and maybe somewhere here 3.67 volts is here okay let us say that this is 3.67 volts okay 3.67 volts is this fine okay so so far we have done like this right so now let us consider the interval so far we have covered the interval 0 to tp now we are in the interval tp to infinity okay we have drawn the output until 0 to tp now it's our turn to look at our output tp to infinity so tp to infinity means tp plus to infinity at tp plus my input is 0 okay so suddenly your input has changed from 10 volts to 0 volts so if i want to change from 10 volts to 0 volts what is that i need to do I need to add minus 10 to my input so that it changes from 10 volts to 0 volts. Okay, when we observed in the last class, okay, whatever the changes you make in your input side, the same can be reflected even at the output side. What is my output by the time I reach here over the interval 0 to Tp? It is V1. Okay, suddenly after uh, Tp minus, okay, you changed your input that is you added minus 10 to your uh, input. So you also need to add minus 10 to your output okay so my output at tp plus okay i am denoting with v2 which is given by okay v1 minus 10 volts okay what is v1 is at tp minus my output is denoted by v1 why i am adding minus 10 because i have added at tp plus my input okay i have added minus 10 to my input 10 at tp plus so that it has made it become equal to 0 so even at the output i need to add minus 10 okay so but what is v1 is i got a value at v1 earlier it is 6.3.67 minus 10 okay so it is roughly so it is minus 6.33 right minus 6.33 so, so what was what what is happening here is Suddenly at tp plus you changed your input from 10 to 0 because of that sudden change in your input from 10 to 0 your output also going to change from v1 which is nothing but your 3.67 here v1 is nothing but 3.67 it is going to change from 3.67 to almost to a value which is nothing but minus 6.33 okay and this you are denoting with v2 okay a sudden change in your output also because there is a sudden change in your input okay so this is what is my output at tp plus right so now you can easily tell me what is my output over this particular interval over this particular interval okay my output if i denote that with okay v naught of t is equal to okay what is my output is going to be v naught of t is equal to v2 my initial voltage is v2 and it is going to take the standard discharge equation with the initial time with the initial time okay tp okay because we are in the interval tp to infinity right so my initial time is going to be tp so it takes the discharging equation form so v2 in t power minus t minus tp by tau is this okay so if i draw the response how it is going to look like okay so it is going to look it is going to look something like this it takes the discharging form it takes the discharging form and it is going to move towards the zero okay so this is what is uh, the response of your output signal okay this is what is the response of your uh, rc high pass filter circuit when you are input that is a pulse input that is applied okay right is this fine so we split our output into two intervals one is 0 to tp 
and the other is tp to infinity but uh, exactly at tp you are representing your output at tp minus as v1 output at tp plus as v2 okay right okay 